Hey guys, what's up? It's Melanie. Welcome back. Today we're going to do something cool with these two old Drexel nightstands. They're really in pretty good shape, except for, as you can see, the front of this one, the veneer is like um, pulling off. So let's go ahead and see if we can get that off there and then get busy making these beautiful. As you can see, this one's just coming off in long strips and then that actual piece underneath there was ready to go too. I got really lucky with this one. I was able to just use this putty knife and scrape it off. Um, that doesn't always happen. Sometimes it gets a lot more complicated, but today I was blessed, yay. I'm gonna go ahead and just take some 220 sandpaper. We'll just give that a little spin and it'll be ready to go. Hey, I don't know if you saw my last video. I gave you guys a little bit of a teaser on my next project. Well, I have this big bad boy going in the garage and this is the sofa that I'm getting ready to start. Oh my goodness, I got myself in a pickle, guys. We have a problem. So these old Duncan Fife pieces, these legs are, you know, they're fragile in the first place. Well, this one, took a dump. <laughs> so I got to figure out how to fix it. Stay tuned. That will be my next video. Hope to see you there. Hit that subscribe button. Alrighty, let's get going. Today we're using Wise Owl chalk synthesis paint. We're going to be using Higgins Lake and Poseidon. These are beautiful colors. And of course, I'm using my favorite brush, my Klingon S50. Don't forget, you can find all these products on my website and I will put the link in the comments below. Let's get a nice coat of Higgins Lake on there. Doesn't need to be perfect because we're gonna be doing some blending, but we're gonna go ahead and get it all covered. This paint is really, really good for if you just want a smooth, smooth finish. It goes on smooth every time. It's just, um, well, it's smooth. Let's go ahead and dip into our Poseidon. I'm always going to use Mel's Magic Misting Bottle first. Give it a little spritz, dip into your Poseidon, and let's just start blending. We're going to work that paint back and forth, adding in a little bit more Higgins Lake for a little bit more depth, and we're going to go up and down, kind of like a hashtaggy kind of a movement. That's going to really get rid of any lines. When blending, I really want my transitions to be smooth. I don't want to see any lines in the middle, any any shadows in the middle. We want to just be fun and good, but not um. It, it shouldn't look intentional. It should look smooth. So you just want to keep working that when blending. You can always spritz it again, get a little bit more damp, and then your paint will just keep moving freely. Of you may be asking why are your drawers in why are you doing it with your drawers in well when i'm working on a full piece like this i really like my transitions to look natural from drawer to drawer if i was to pull those out i wouldn't get that flow i wouldn't get the feeling that it's all one piece it would you know how am i going to make that drawer match if it's not in the thing that's just the way i do it so what i do do is after i'm done with this i will pull the drawer out and hit the lip of it um, with a little bit of paint so that little bit of lip of the drawer is covered a lot of people ask me again how do you do the sides do you do them the same yes we're going to go ahead and do it the same the sides i tend to use um move a little faster because we don't want our paint to dry so i'm going to try to move faster and look at that hot mess i just made right there that's okay a little bit more water a little bit more paint i'm going to go the other way now get rid of those lines and um, let's just blend this out. Just keep working it until you like what you see. You can always add more paint. You can always give another spritz of water. These are all things you can do and, you know, have fun.
All right, how do you do your tops, Melanie? How do you do them? Well, if I don't leave it solid and stain it, then this is how I do it. I'm gonna do it the exact same way I did the front and the sides of the dresser. It doesn't have to match completely. That's the cool thing about blending. It, You're using the same colors. It can look a little bit different, that's okay. Just make it look how you like it. Make it nice and smooth, make it um, have nice transitions. And if you love it, man, you're doing great. Right now you're thinking, mm, well, that doesn't match, but that's okay. Remember, I can add more Higgins Lake and let's just blend that back out using always a spritz of water here and there. That guy's always in my left hand. So I can just give it a little squirt whenever I need it and swipe it back out. That's what's so fun about the misting bottles. You just get enough water that you need. All right, today we're gonna to be using Wise Owl's Varnish. This is a matte finish, and I have to say, this is not a beginner's varnish. With this varnish, you cannot overwork it. It dries extremely fast. So I'm gonna do long strokes, not overwork it, because it'll start to drag on you like really fast. You want to make sure you don't have any white clumps anywhere because they will stay white. Just keep moving on. When you go back over with your second coat, it'll look great. But I have to warn you, your first coat's not going to look so hot. Did this whole piece with two coats of this varnish. All right, now we're gonna take a lint-free towel and we're gonna get it wet and then we're gonna wring it completely out. We're gonna take it in our hand and make a nice little poof. I'm gonna be using Wise Owl's Glaze. This is gold and I think it'll be perfect. It comes in so many different colors, but today we're using gold. I'm gonna use a small artist brush and put it into the cracks and crevices. I'm also gonna take my damp towel and wipe it right back off. I only want it to really be sitting in those low places. This dries pretty darn fast, so you definitely want to have your damp towel ready to wipe it back. Well, this is looking pretty fun, but I think we need to add a little bit more depth, a little bit more deepness. So we're going to pull out our DIY black wax. Let's go ahead and start applying it kind of right over what we just did. As we wipe it back, we'll still be able to see a bit of what we did with that glaze, but it's not gonna be quite so oomph, okay? We're toning down our oomph. I started with just the cracks and then I thought, you know what, heck, I'm gonna do the whole thing. Being that I already sealed this piece, I did not need to put clear wax below it. I could just go ahead and put my black because that sealer is already protecting my finish a bit so it's not going to soak in and make my whole thing black. Know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I think you can see as I go, what's really happening is I'm just deepening my blue. I'm deepening my Poseidon. All right, guys, now this is fun. We're going to take Wise Owl's Clear Wax. It's a hemp oil based wax. You can use any clear wax that you have. And we're gonna take this. This is American Paint Company's gold mica powders. They come in so many different colors, but today we're gonna use gold because that matches the pools on my dresser. We're gonna take that and mix it up. You can mix it to any thickness that you want, any consistency, like how strong do you want it? You just figure out what you want, okay? I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna go ahead and hit all these places that I want to be gold and beautiful. I usually start off pretty slow, um, pretty uh, timid. And then, you know, as I get going, I tend to add more and more, but I'm always cautious at first. Make sure you like it before you go cuckoo, okay? My friend Kathy sells these. She's from the Vintage Dame. So I'll put that link in the comments below. And then as I do this, I take a dry lint-free rag and I wipe back the extra. I do it right away. Some people let it sit. I tend to want to wipe it back. That's just me. 
Alrighty, guys. Well, that's it. I really love how they turned out. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I love the gold and the blue and the blending. This was a really fun project for me. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget, you can hit all these products on my website, and I'll put links to all that in the comments below. All right. Stay tuned on how I'm going to fix this leg and what I'm going to do with this sofa. Oh, my goodness. All right. Thanks for watching, guys, and remember, only you can make it happen.